Hi, I'm here to talk to you about air cuts only optimization just as soon as this part starts cutting. Tired of waiting? I know I am. I wonder if there's something we could do about that. Air cuts only optimization analyzes the G code program and changes the program feed rate to a defined value when the cutter is not in contact with the stock. This reduces program runtime without ever affecting cutting feed rates or resulting surface finishes. Only tool motion when the cutter is not in contact with the stock is affected. Let's take a look at how easy it is to set up and run air cuts only optimization. In order to get started, you need to have a simulation that is collision free and accurate to the setup on the actual machine. Then, with just a few clicks, you can turn on air cuts only optimization. Navigate to the Optimize tab in the ribbon bar, select Optimize Control. Then, from the Mode drop down list, select Air Cuts Only and press OK. Notice how the Opti status light turns green and your locker area presents you with the message that optimization has been turned on. Once simulation is complete, you are presented with the optimization savings calculator that showcases what the actual savings were from applying the optimization. In this case, we can notice that there was a 21.34% reduction in runtime. We went from an hour and 12 minutes to 57 minutes in total. Vericut will not overwrite your original program. Therefore, after the optimization process, you can go ahead and use the Compare Files utility straight into Vericut to compare your original program with your optimized one. Here you'll notice over on the left-hand side how the original lines have code modified in them. The code is highlighted in red in the original program and in blue in the new optimized one. Additionally, at the beginning of the program, you'll notice that there's a header with the date and time added to the program so you can easily identify it. Now, we optimize this program using the bare bone settings that come straight up in Vericut. Let's take a look and some of the customization that we can do when selecting the air cuts only option in our optimized control window. We have the option of whether or not to break up partial air cuts. This will detect whether a line is uh, partially within the stock, partially outside the stock, and split the motion to where it actually applies your air cut feed rate to the part that is outside. If this is unchecked, only G-code lines that are completely outside of your cut stock will be optimized. Next, we have the ability to change the air cut feed rate. This value of 50-80 millimeters originates from the machine's x-axis rapid motion. We can uncheck the default checkbox and change the value to whatever we feel is representative to our program. Maybe we want it to go exactly 5,000 millimeters. The resolution field represents Vericut's sampling rate, or the frequency at which it checks whether the cutting conditions have changed. For m most applications, auto setting is enough. The next two fields are a lot more important to the application. They represent the entry and exit clearance distance. This, uh, these two fields create a buffer around your port in order to account for any um, imperfections in either the setup or the size of the stock out at the machine. In this case, I think it would be best if we rerun the part with at least a one millimeter clearance all the way around it. Notice, in this case, we're able to gain an additional 3% improvement in runtime just by breaking up the motion. For more information on this topic and many others, please consult the Vericut Help or contact CG Tech Support. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thank you for watching.